Hey guys, welcome back to another video. A few weeks ago I made a video about the new Dodge Hellcat jailbreak program and the purpose of the jailbreak is to allow customers to unlock ordering restrictions and mix and match their options when they're building a new Hellcat. Upon release of those jailbreak Hellcats, we knew the general categories and types of customizations that could be made, but there wasn't exactly a checklist of every option that was available with pricing. Just a few days ago on December 9th, 2021, the online build and price configurator went live and that allows us to see every single option that the jailbreak models will unlock along with those prices. So we will look at the challenger first and then the charger and cover every single option and price tag for these jailbreaks. I've made graphics for each customization to give you a better look and I'll also show the ones that Dodge made after which summarizes things nicely. Some options are also jailbreak exclusive and that will be indicated on screen when it's appropriate during the summary graphics. Also, one last cool feature of the jailbreak models is that there are no restrictions. So previously, Dodge would restrict your visual choices if things didn't make sense. For example, you couldn't choose red stripes on an orange vehicle. But now you can, so you can choose blue stripes, yellow brakes, red badging, and on and on, and Dodge lets you do that. You can see Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskis' quote on screen speaking more about the program, as he says letting customers run free through the styling archives. So let's get into the video. So we're going to take a look at the builder for the Jailbreak Hellcat Challenger first, and then go through the charger. The Jailbreak Challenger models are priced $1,090 US more than the SRT Hellcat Red Eye Widebody, so just to get into this customization for that Red Eye will cost that much. The Jailbreak is still $1,910 less than the top of the line SRT Superstock. It's also not available on the regular body Red Eye Challenger. Each Jailbreak model gets a unique instrument panel badge and a revised powertrain calibration, pushing the Red Eye up to 807 horsepower, just like that drag focused Challenger SRT Superstock. The Jailbreak is available in the same 13 exterior paint colors as all the other Challengers, and this year some options will cost more than others. So, for example, Pitch Black and White Knuckle are $0. Hell Raisin, Octane Red, Go Mango, and Cinnamon Stick cost $395, and most of the other colors are $95. So that was step one, and after the color has been chosen, now there are nine exterior stripe and decal options. Those include $995 dual racing stripes in five different colors, blue, carbon, gunmetal, silver, and red. Blacked out options include a black satin painted roof for $1,495, the hood for $19.95, or both combined with the deck lid and spoiler for $34.95. There's also an SRT wide body stripe for $9.95, which is jailbreak exclusive. Black Mopar hood pins can also be added for $4.25. Step 3 would be the wheels, and the jailbreak gives you a whopping 7 choices, two of them jailbreak exclusive. All are 20 by 11 inches in size to go along with the wide body look and the prices are between $9.95 to $12.95 depending on the wheel. Overall, there are five colors, Carbon Black, Brass Monkey, Satin Carbon, Low Gloss Black, and Granite, and four designs between them. There's just two tire options aside from the 305 20s There is a P0 Summer Tire option for $6.95. The jailbreak adds six different Brembo caliper color options, and those calipers are quite visible as there are six piston in the front and four piston in the rear on these red eyes. The standard color is red, and that won't add any charge to your build. For $5.95 though, you can choose between black, blue, gunmetal, orange, or yellow, all really nice looking options. Blue and yellow are exclusive to these models only. Next would be the exterior badges, so those include one on the rear spoiler on the right side, one on each fender, and one on the right side of the front grill. They come standard in black chrome, but for $199, you can choose from Brass Monkey, Midnight Metallic, Red, or Satin Chrome. The final exterior options would be a $995 Satin Black SRT Performance Spoiler that has a slightly different look than the stock spoiler, and a $99 Chrome Fuel Filler Door that goes in place of the black one. Moving inside, there are also quite a few options. The stock seats are houndstooth cloth with the SRT logo. So I do think it's absolutely ridiculous that cloth is even offered here, but of course there are upgrades if needed. So Alcantara Napa leather seats are $2,095, while Alcantara with Laguna leather seats are $3,890. Those seats were all available in black. You can also opt for the all Laguna leather seats that are the same price and come in four colors, black, sepia, demonic red, and hammerhead gray. The standard seat belts are black, but for $395, you can choose from Demonic Red, Hammerhead Gray, or Sepia. 
the same four colors are offered on the floor mats for $99 but it just seems to be the outer edge trimming and not the actual entire floor mat color itself. Next up would be the bezel and console trim finish, which is around the steering wheel and the instrument panel area. There are five options with varying pricing. Dark dub plate is standard here, and the others are between $199 for dark engine turn and up to $699 for copper weave carbon fiber. The jailbreak also adds steering wheel options, so stock you get leather with a red SRT LED light, but you can also opt for different finishes like Alcantara and LED colors. Additional interior options include a $499 suede headliner instead of twill, a power sunroof for $12.95, three different package options including a rear seat delete for $1, and a 3.09 rear axle gear ratio for $1,095. Quickly, let's build the most expensive Challenger Jailbreak Red Eye possible. So that means clicking off the most expensive option of each feature offered, and that would add $24,440, which pushes the price to a whopping $106,010 before any taxes. Now let's do the Charger Jailbreak. This is the top Charger trim since there's no super stock, and it's $995 ahead of the Red Eye Widebody. As for paint colors, the same 13 color assortments are available at the same prices as the Challenger, so nothing new there. The same 5 dual racing stripe colors carry over to the Charger, but here, Gunmetal, Blue, Silver, and Red are all jailbreak exclusive and not offered on the other trim levels from the factory, for example like on a scat pack. The Charger also has a satin black graphics package on the hood, roof, trunk, and spoiler, or a satin black painted hood or gloss black painted roof option. Finally, there's a satin black hood, roof, and deckless stripe package that reminds me of the 2017 and up Daytona graphics for $995. The wheels are the exact same as the Challenger with 7 options. I'll just roll through the visuals to give you guys a look at them with the Charger instead. Pricing does vary a bit from the Challenger. And the same goes for the brake calipers and badges. They are the exact same options and prices as the Challenger. The Charger also adds a $995 option of a black spoiler instead of the body color one, and instead of the stock chrome exhaust tips, you can choose black ones for $99. Moving inside, on the Charger, the Hellcat Logo Laguna leather seats are standard, while they weren't on the Challenger for some reason, remember the cloth was standard there. You can opt for Alcantara for $995, and demonic red or ski gray inserts on the Laguna leather will cost a few hundred dollars. Dark engine turn bezel and console trim is standard, and the other offerings are hectic mesh, dub plate, and real carbon fiber. Apart from all that, all the other options are the same, but a few things are left out, like there's no rear seat delete option, nor is there that 3.09 rear axle ratio option. If we want to build the most expensive charger jailbreak, with all the most expensive options possible, the total comes out to $100,909, plus all your taxes and licensing and all that. So that means the total options were around $17,300. So that is around $6,000 less than the same fully loaded Challenger jailbreak due to the fact that not every feature was offered on the chargers. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out exactly what the jailbreak models have to offer. Are you happy with what you saw or underwhelmed as to what Dodge is offering here? Let me know down in the comment section below. I think it is a really cool idea, but they could have offered a few more features and colors. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.